In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hello again, everybody, and welcome today to our Mass for the Thursday after Ash Wednesday. And so, my brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, <clears throat> through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin <clears throat> from you and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading today is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, <clears throat> but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, <clears throat> I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life, then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. The response is, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a, tr <coughs> a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. <clears throat> Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily <clears throat> and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> I think this Gospel is a really good one to really get going uh, with Lent. 
the season of penance and also uh, self-examination. One of the things that Jesus makes very clear um, in the scriptures is that following him and discipleship uh, in general is something that requires sacrifice and something uh, that costs something. It's not, following Jesus was never intended to be easy, it was never intended to be something where you didn't have to give up anything, it was never intended to be, oh, just come and do whatever you want. Jesus makes clear here, right, that if you were going to follow me and you're going to come after me, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross daily, and follow me. And so I think it might be worth <clears throat> just reflecting today on this passage and this idea of the cost of discipleship. And what does that mean? And are we willing really to pay that cost? Jesus also makes clear in the scriptures as well that people are going to hear this message that Jesus is talking about and just not want to do it, not want to pay the cost, and then they're going to go someplace else. But the idea is that if you want to come follow Jesus, you have to do what he says here. Take up your cross every day, and it's a different uh, cross for each person, and it varies by day too for each person what their cross is, and then go and follow Jesus. And then whoever loses his life for Jesus' sake will save it. Whoever loses themselves in the mission that Jesus is calling them to, that's how you will find yourself, and that's how you will really uh, live the fullness of life that you are looking for. So I think today, <clears throat> with the Lent really getting going, to ask ourselves, what does this cost of discipleship mean to us? And are we willing, really, to pay that cost on a regular basis? So let us now offer our prayers and petitions to God. We pray that this Lent will be a time of spiritual renewal for all of us, and that we will uh, be open to the will of God and where he is directing us. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those <clears throat> who are searching for something in their life, that they may be directed by God to where he wants them to be. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have recently died, for the repose of their souls and the consolation of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray also for Marie Dorsa and Delancourt Bernadelle, <clears throat> uh, both for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the intentions of those watching this Mass, which we offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. And good and gracious God, we ask you to hear our prayers and to grant them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast, with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. 
And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, <clears throat> holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
and let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> In the act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. receive the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.